a lot of companies have beaten the estimates. Case in point, Caterpillar. Caterpillar mm -hmm. makes bulldozers, tractors, backhoes. Its quarterly profits tumbled 66%. That was better than the street estimated. Still made a whole lot of money. But here's the catch. Cat raised its outlook for the year. Says credit markets are improving. It's starting to see okay. the effects of stimulus around okay. the world. So think of those shovel-ready projects. Okay. Are up 8%. Yes, Tony. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's glass. Half full for a change. I like that. So, all right. So, there's a market, obviously, for these tractors. Good, 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 good. But, you know, the airlines, that is still a, a, a troubled sector. And, look, the airlines are having a difficult time selling tickets right now, Susan. Uh, yeah, understandably, because of yeah. that 9.5% unemployment rate. Case in point, Continental Airlines, it lost over $200 million in the last three months. That was worse than the street expected. It missed the estimates, and it plans to make up for it. How? By cutting its workforce. 1,700 jobs and nickel-diming us, those of us who are flying. It's going to yeah. raise the additional, or raise the first bag fee from $15 to $20 if you do it at the airport. So do it online, and, and you should actually book your fare online because it's raising the phone reservation uh, uh, by another $5. So, and it says it's going to look for more measures additional measures to to sort of boost its revenue so oh, think of great. other creative ways to nickel and dime us unfortunately that's um, just wonderful if you if you want us to buy tickets there there's the remedy raise the price on everything that's Sorry. right. We're thinking of like maybe reclining your chair is going to come at a cost or plugging in your iPod. I mean, where are we going with this? This is nuts. All right.